yeah. All right. I don't know what happened earlier. I had a connection issue and it wouldn't connect. I stood where I was here previously and it wouldn't reconnect and I didn't feel like waiting for it to connect and my fingers were cold so I just uh, went into the Soylent Green manufacturing facility for a minute and warm up and then I started talking to some college students who are clearly more educated than I am because they're paying $30,000 a year for it so I'm the idiot. And now we're back. So y'all can hear me. So we're back in my corner. Still hasn't warmed up yet. It's still about one degree Celsius. Still pretty windy. I'm gonna hang out here for a while, then I'm gonna get something to eat, and then I think I'm gonna go back to where I was uh, yesterday and use the uh, I was going to say something about that, right? And I'm going to use the satellites aren't real. That, would, that worked out really well, actually. I, and I did some more investigation about satellites yesterday. And I'll bring some of that information to you later about a satellite that was supposed to launch this month that is delayed until June 1st. So if, that's just a... Reader's Digest of that article. So you can look that up. It's delayed because of uh, protests that are going on, I think, in France. And that set communication satellite was supposed to launch, I think, on the 21st or the week of the 26th, something like that. What a coincidence, right? Like, it's delayed. Wow, that's weird. Protests. I'm sure there was were organic protests. You know, nobody... Nobody would be there to intentionally start getting rowdy after they were paid. Nobody would ever do that. You know, these all these protests are always organic. There's no incentives to go with that. So that's delayed. And, you know, just a heads up, too, with the moon landing. We have not sent a person on the moon... We have not sent a person on the moon since 1972. You know, everybody knows the 1969 catastrophe. But we've just sent probes there. Or rovers, you know, remote controlled drone type things. And those aren't CGI or anything like that. You know, that's real. But we wouldn't send a human being there because, you know, why would we? We've already been there. I've, I spent nine months in Thailand. Why would I want to go back, right? I love standing outside at the end of April and it's 32 degrees. I did find free parking here, though. So that was nice. Found some residential area so I could get some free parking this time. All right, let's go back down to that bus station. I don't see any buses coming right now, so I think we might be able to post up. And I don't know, maybe I'll lose signal again, but hopefully not.
comes the bus, everybody's going to leave me again. Let's see what kind of actions down here. Let's see if we can just Oh, there's a Starbucks. It could be the Starbucks sign. Another time. Hey Josh, how's it going? I am uh, standing... Oh, calm down. You have insurance. Jeez. I'm at the corner of 4th Street and 14th Street Avenue, University of Minnesota campus. At the heart the heart of GMO vaccine indoctrinated college students. And uh, here's our sign. That's our sign. And then we got McDonald's just a block down there. So people know where, you know, let's just say McDonald's. People know where we're at. People know where the McDonald's is. Of course they do. College students. I wish I had that girl's hair right now. Because it's cold outside. Maybe we could just hang out here for a while. How you doing? Good. See, again, just hit him with a smile. You know, that's all you gotta do. I don't gotta be intimidating. I already, you know, I look like I belong here anyways, you know. Hey, thanks Josh. Yeah, man, I, uh, I called in that chat. It's, it goes by so fast and I tried to, uh, you know, do a little self-promotion. But I just don't think people saw my message, so I, I saw that there was an opening on the Hangout, so I just tried to give a call, and I called in before, but I had a really bad connection, and I was driving, so I was glad to get through, you know, I just, I'm just trying to do my part, you know, and these are, these are, this, these questions have nothing to do with Flat Earth, you know what I'm saying, like, the moon is just a light in the sky. And then later on, I'm going to do the satellites aren't real. I got a lot of people cross-eyed with that. Satellites aren't real. Because the picture shows a picture of the satellite. And then I ask them the question, who's taking a picture of the satellite? And they just, they're dumbfounded. They can't answer that. That has nothing to do with flat earth. That has everything to do with them faking the heavens above. And I hate liars. You know, I don't go out of my way to lie. That's just not, that's not my character. But you know what, I guess, you know, as a human being, I look at things like this. There's a difference between lying and deceiving somebody. You know, it's one thing to lie to somebody, it's another to deceive them. And we're just getting, we're getting massively deceived. And I, you know, what I'd like to do is find an intersection that there's cameras above it so that the establishment can see that I'm loitering their corners here. 
and uh, just know that there's a presence of truth here. I don't see any here. I got the wind to my back, so I'm a little bit warmer because uh, I don't have wind hit my hands too. My hands were cold when my connection timed out. I went to the uh, Soylent Green facility and washed them. And you know how, like, when your hands are really cold and you put them under warm water and they just kind of like it burns. <laughs> yeah. So I just used that opportunity to take a break and warm up and, you know, think of another battle plan here. So I just, uh, this lady wants to know what's going on in that white car. She doesn't want to look now because she's got the camera on her. And I have coffee in the car, too. I forgot about that. It's probably cold by now. We're in front of Goldie's locker room. This is where you get all your propaganda for the University of Minnesota sports. Yeah, there's, some, there's some traffic. People notice, you know. Probably think I'm asking for money. This guy smiles. You laugh, but it's true, man. Yeah, I know. You believe the moon landing? That sucks. See, they don't really know how to respond to the signage. Because they're like, yeah, you're right. There would be a McDonald's there. Like, duh. But. uh it's not a physical object that can be landed on. Come on, people. What? I'm just talking to myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, just openly talking, you know. How's your day going, man? Pretty good, how I really can't complain, you know. Got a full stomach. Just chilling, you know. You off to school right now? Uh, off to work. Off to work. Did you go to school here to go to work? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm a student here, but I, my job's on campus. Oh, okay. What do you do, like, here on campus? Uh, I work at the Wiseman Art Museum, I do events there. Okay. Like, what kind of art? Like... Uh, it's mostly modern art, but then, mm -hmm. um, there is some kind of more classic Is it free to get in? Yep, free to get It is. What is it called again? The Wiseman Art Museum. The Wiseman yes. Art Museum. Yep. Okay. Right yeah. by the river. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Wiseman art. <clears throat> not probably not very wise, you know, you go in there and start touting dinosaurs don't exist in a museum and an art gallery. You'll get laughed off the stage. What is this guy doing? Yeah, because that's legal. You know, when I do stuff like this, the establishment shows up. But this guy, it's okay. Yeah, this is a much, much better. It is not windy here at all. I think all these buildings really cut down the razor sharp wind that I had experienced earlier. So I think we're uh, in a good spot. I might go to that pot bellies and eat, or I saw Qdobo, which is like a retread Chipotle type restaurant. Last time I went there, I went there a couple years ago, it wasn't really all that good. I love Asian food. Love it, love it. But I don't see any, like, other than, it's all Chinese food. I, I really don't like Chinese food. I mean, I'll eat it, but I'd love to find it like a Japanese or a Thai place. That would be amazing. Oh, this guy's cooking. Good 
for him. And he's walking his bike across the street. What a... What an obedient student of this system. It's really good for him. Let's see if these guys want to see. He, he wants to see. He's got like half of his eye showing. But, yeah, see, no, he couldn't. He didn't, he didn't fully engage in the sign. You'll notice when you do this that a lot of people, they don't want to engage with you. They just want to look at the sign. And then if they notice that you notice that they're trying to look at the sign, they'll kind of like look away real quick. Or, or they'll just look at you and try to avoid looking at the sign. Because a lot of people, when they look at signage like this, that means that they're held accountable. Asking people questions, man. Hey, man, I'm standing here, man. Free country. I would have probably given him a dollar, too, if he would have asked, but he got lippy. I don't usually carry cash on me, but I actually got some cash on me. Hood rats. Unbelievable. 50 cents for a cigarette. <clears throat> See, and he's asking all black people too, man. Like, what? That's... That's ignorant, man. If he would have just asked me, if he would have turned around and said, Hey, my man, you got 50 cents? I would have been like, yeah, dude, I got a dollar, actually. Bam. There's that Federal Reserve currency for ya, partner. Nope, he wants to get lippy, though. Like he runs the street or something, you know? Picking stuff off the ground. Give me a break, man. Come on. Hey, that's black and white people, you know? <clears throat> I ain't got no problems. This ain't about race anymore, man. This is not about race for me anymore. It's about getting lied to and giving people their worldview to act like that later in life. He was a child once. He was. You know, eight, nine years old, precious, moldable mind with aspirations to do something. But he got caught up. Got caught up in the game of something. And he's telling me I gotta move, right? I don't like Vietnamese either. There's a Vietnamese shop and a Chinese shop there. Take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be here all day. Plenty to come. How you doing? That's awesome. Oh, there's that Qdoba right there. Red-headed stepchild of Chipotle. I think that's probably like the fourth or fifth scooter I've seen today. With no helmet. No helmet on. 
I'm not saying like he should or shouldn't wear a helmet. I'm just saying it's 32 degrees outside. That's all I'm saying. And if you're going like 15 miles an hour and that's in your face, you look like on Dumb and Dumber when they're traveling across country in Colorado. What are you recording, man? What up? What are you recording? Oh, just sharing knowledge, man. It's true, right? Maybe. Hey, if it was something that could be landed on, right? You believe that we went to the moon? Yeah. Amen. What, what, where do you get your worldview from, though? I'm a cynical asshole. And I'm cynical <laughs> hey, man, that's why I'm here, you know? Well, hopefully people will see it and break through because a lot of people aren't awake and they're Oh, they're, uh-uh. That's why we have all the sheeple. Hey, you know, a lot of people say that they're awake, but what do you think happened at 9-11? Exactly. It's, uh, it was a conspiracy. It was, but there's the ultimate conspiracy with 9-11 that a lot of people don't talk about. No planes at all were used at 9-11. I can believe that. How does an aluminum can go through a steel building? It doesn't. It doesn't. Blew it up from the inside. Yeah, they no, did. actually they shot it with the Tomahawk missile. And then they superimposed an airplane over the missile. I can believe that. Have a good day. Keep hey, the word Thanks. Out. I'll see you around, hopefully. Thanks. See, that's where it's at. She's awake. She just found out that no planes were used at 9-11. <clears throat> that's awesome. That is great. Good stuff. Hey, how you doing, man? Right on. Three peop three consecutive people with uh, piercings in their nose, like in the center part. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about that? I don't really know. I don't know. I think that would hurt. It certainly would hurt. I'm not into piercings anymore. I used to be into piercings a while back. Not really a fan of tattoos. I don't judge anybody for them. You know, I don't care. It's your thing. That's what makes you happy. If that's what you want to spend your money on, hey, more power to you. I got a lot of stuff I spend money on. People would look at me and they roll their eyes, you know. But we can all find common ground that NASA is a fraud, right? Satellites don't exist. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, you're back. <laughs> hey, hey, right on. Cool. Cool. I got the song. I'm sorry, I'm whistling. I got the song stuck in my head. So I'm just trying to, I should bring like my, I got a Jawbone Bluetooth speaker. I think when it's nice out, I might set that up next to me. <coughs> I wonder if I could play that and chill out and have some like just soft trance music or something going on. And then I turn around and then somebody runs away with it. Or kicks it. I don't agree with you. You wouldn't have this Bluetooth speaker if it wasn't for NASA. You know? What's wrong with you? Hypocrite. Are you using your cell phone to time the street light or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I have to do a project. Oh, really? What type of project is that? Mind sharing? Uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know, like taking an uh, intersection in the city and like building a computer model for it and like trying to optimize the signal lengths and stuff. 
How long have you been uh, going to the U? Uh, Where are you from? I'm from the South Dakota. Oh, yeah? Cool, man. Well, good to see you here. Yeah? fell on the floor looking at the sign. All right, well, here's a sign I'm carrying. There's a McDonald's just down the block. Everybody knows where the McDonald's is where I'm at. So this is College Town, Minneapolis, University of Minnesota. Here I am. Let's see if I can get, get a good shot. Hey, guys. Joshua here. We're just uh, trying to wake the sheep up, you know. One mine at a time. It's a slow process. It is a slow... 
molasses and going uphill in January. Slow process. But it is something that's got to be done. Just to infect the consciousness of the populace here. I don't know if you're familiar with the 100 monkey experiment, whether that's true or not. It is fascinating because I have experienced personally stuff like that where if uh, one person comes up with an idea and they express it in a physical matter in this reality, not just so much thinking about it because your thoughts can travel through what people usually call the ether, you know, the space in between me and this guy walking towards me. So if I think something positive about that guy, you know, and I pray that, you know, something good happens to him, you know, some, the reality in which we live will positively affect his, you know, reality, if you want to call it that, depending upon my intent. So if my intent is good, the outcome will be good. If my intent is bad, the outcome, which that could be a year, could, could trail out to be a year outcome, could be bad. And so the 100 monkey experiment was these monkeys were washing their fruit in the sand and they were just eating it, you know, kind of raw or whatever. And one of the monkeys brought it out to the ocean and he started washing the sweet potatoes, you know, for example, in the ocean so that they could eat it without getting grains of sand in their mouth. And so, eventually the whole island starts doing it. And the buildup of the island transferred over to another island, let's say, you know, 10 miles away, where those monkeys started to do it, you know, over a period of time. So whether you want to believe this or not, you know, clearly my opinion of what I heard and observed, what is this guy doing? And, uh, so then all the monkeys are doing it, right? So does that make sense? So by me standing here, I really want these people to wake up. My intent and my thought life is positive like I really want it's sad like I do get I, I'm sad that a lot of people refuse to seek knowledge outside of their educational system and their teachers and news and mainstream but if I'm here physically I'm actually and not just at home praying you know that these people wake up then you got to take a physical action in this reality and really show these people what you mean. Like, what is your intent? What are you doing here, man? It's 30 degrees out for crying out loud. What's wrong with you? Do you have a job? Do you have taxes to pay? Don't you have a game to watch? Don't you want to watch Walking Dead? Seriously. If, no, I don't. I'm done. It's over. Yeah, I got Netflix. I'll watch shows every once in a while. But I go into it with an open mind trying to understand what they're trying to do with the populace through the imagery that I'm seeing on TV. So, I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm just here to just... I'm really here to affect what these people see. They see some guy at the corner holding a sign about... If we landed on the moon, there'd be a Soylent Green manufacturing facility on Mars, on the moon. It's sad, but it's true, right? You think the Earth is round or flat then? Uh, round like a dinner plate or pizza? I'm sorry, spherical. Okay, yep. I don't, no. Why, 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 <laughs> why, would, I, why would I believe that, man? Oh, why wouldn't you believe that Earth is spherical? Uh, there's plenty of evidence to show, and you want me to give you an example? All right. Have you ever looked at like satellites on Google, like what a satellite looks like? Uh, I mean, like you have to be more specific. Like, like a satellite like, in the like sky. A satellite image. Yeah, like a satellite in the sky. Have you seen what a satellite after it's been launched, orbiting around Earth? Have you seen what those look like? I guess not specifically. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean. 
but I'm just a little further along in this than you are, and that's totally cool. I, I just respect that. But if you look at what they give us as images of satellites in space, they're all CGI computer composites. They're not real pictures. And so when I'm here and I'm questioning people, I got another sign that says satellites don't exist, and I have a picture of a satellite on my board here, my paper, and then my question is, who's taking a picture of the satellite? Do they send an additional satellite up in the sky to take a picture of the satellite to tell us that that's in the air? I mean, there's no saying that the two can cross paths in the orbit or something like that. I but, mean, but there is, though, because why would they send another satellite up there to take a picture of other satellites? I mean, it may not be up there for specifically that reason. Okay. Okay. I'll give it to you. I mean, they probably don't waste money on just sending one up there for that reason, but I mean... My man, do you have any idea what the Federal Reserve is? They print money like McDonald's makes hamburgers. I mean, there's more to it than just printing money out. There is, and there's more to it than just saying, do you believe in the Earth is flat or a globe? Because there's ways that you can see that the Earth is not a globe if you look at other aspects of what they're giving us. But I mean, take the ocean, I mean... Ships, it doesn't curve, man. Ships do fall off the horizon. No, they don't, man. They don't, man. Th let me give you this, okay? If you're on the beach, and I've been to Thailand, okay, as I've seen the beach, and the naked eye can see about three miles or so. Can we agree on that? About three miles or so? I have bad eyesight, so I wouldn't know. Sure, okay. Sure. So if you're watching a ship or whatever go over what is considered the horizon, if you get a telescope or a P900, something that has extreme zoom to it, guess what you're able to do to that object that you just saw disappear? Bring it back into focus. Really? Really. Interesting. Well, I'll take that. That's some food for thought, so... I, I, I'm just saying, man, don't take everything that you're getting here verbatim. There's a reason that it's school. School Absolutely. is a religion. It's a church. I mean, we can agree to disagree on that. Cool, man. I really appreciate talking to you, man. What's your name? I'm Nick. Nick? Nice right on. You guys have a good week. You don't have to prove the Earth is flat or a globe. Just tell people that NASA is a fraud. You know? <laughs> You're gonna fall over the edge. You're gonna just, you know, come on. <sighs> fall over the edge. Give me a break. Hey, that was cool, man. He was a cool guy. He was totally open. He's see, he's open to listen. And it's cold outside. Probably could have given him a little bit more time to speak, but. Looked like he wanted to be somewhere. So I just had to hit him with a couple of uh, truths and, you know, there you go. Boom. And who knows, six months from now, if we're still around, you know, if we don't have an EMP, nuclear blast, false flag happen, he might wake up. He might wake up. See, a lot of people want to say circle. So you believe the Earth is a circle or it's flat? Well, what do you mean, man? Let's, let's get down to brass tacks here. Let's get to the heart of the matter. I think I'm going to go across the street over there. I don't know. Just kind of change the scenery a bit. Go across here, and then go across the other side. This girl keeps eyeballing me, but I'm not gonna engage with her. She seems way too into her cigarette. So you're gonna read it and then I'll go across. Plus I gotta move, but my legs are 
are starting to seize up on me a bit. There's another Vietnamese restaurant. What a Thai restaurant. Have you ever been to that sushi place there? Never. No. I actually don't like fish. Oh. That's sad. I don't like fish. What do they ever do to you? <sighs> SSS. Dude, nuts. Kitty Cat Club. <sighs> so there's some dorms up here. I wonder if the dorms are private property. No, this is a public school. I wonder if I can post up in the... I look like I'm 22. I could easily pass, especially if I shave. Huh. It's really windy here, though. I mean, not really, but... Windy enough. You laugh, but it's true, man. That looks like a nice little spot to hang out. I think I've seen those girls before. How you doing, man? Hey, I can't complain. It's cold. Yeah, fingers are living. Yeah. Everything else is. I'm sorry? I work at McDonald's. You work at McDonald's, yeah? Yeah. How many McDonald's do you think there would be on the moon if we could land on it? Uh, there's at least one. <laughs> yeah, right? At least one. On which side? The dark side or the, the side that we can see? The side that we can see. <laughs> do you think the, the one on the dark side would be open 24 hours a day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? You have a good day. Hey, hey thanks, man. You too. <laughs> Work at Soylent Green. That's awesome. What's up? How you doing, fellas? I can't complain, man. Just uh, peddling knowledge. Yeah, we, if we landed on the moon, there would be a McDonald's on it by now. Flat Earth Goose. Oh, that's a, uh, your feet? Oh, man, the Earth is flat. It's a Hey, bro, the Earth is flat, man. I've been through that. They ain't, they ain't fooling nobody no more, bro. Why do, <laughs> yeah. like, why do planes don't go up and I know, shit? right? Do, like, yeah. I ain't doing one of them to do shit. You know? Earth is why you flat. say that, though? Ah, it's because just to get people to think. Because like, think yeah. about it. Think about it. If she, nigga, by now we would have been, bro. Right? Bro, in the money, bro. Starbucks. Listen, bro, bro, listen. Dead ass, bro. <laughs> bro. If yeah. by now we would have been up in that bitch. Right? What about satellites? What do you think about satellites? What's your, what's, your, what's your theory? Well, in a Newsweek article from 2015, they tell us that all of our communication, 99% is done through fiber optics. And they say that because fiber optics is eight times faster than satellites. So if that's eight times faster than satellites, what do we need satellites for in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Get them. Oh, that's <laughs> real, <right? laughs> Oh, my. Yeah, so, right I'm just saying, man, I'm just trying to provoke thought. You know, there's a lot of people here that are indoctrinated with, you know, mainstream yep. science yep. and stuff. So, they think Bill Nye's a real scientist, man. <laughs> you know, so... And Neil deGrasse Tyson. They see Neil deGrasse Tyson on, on oh Superman. Oh, my God, Eber. They think that They think that he's, you know... 
a scientist. Yeah. But he's an actor. You know? Everybody's an actor, man. That's on TV. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> Everybody's and paid. Jabbing and jabbing you know? and shucking, Everybody's you know? paid that's on TV, too. So, yeah, you know. All right, you have a good one, Hey, man. thanks for stopping by, man. Joshua. Joshua. Hey, yes. The YouTube channel again? Flat, uh, Earth, Flat Earth, Clues. Earth Clues. Cool. But uh, I'm actually streaming live on Facebook. Hey. Oh, okay. Joshua Swift. Okay. Uh, satellites don't exist. Okay. Cool. And I got a bunch of uh, live videos that I've done here on the university campus. I'm just trying to nice. spread truth, man. Okay. All right, brother. Take cool. it easy. Stay warm out there. That's cool. They're open. They are awake. How you doing? Good. You staying warm out here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dorm right there, so a lot of people. I wonder if I went in that dorm just to warm up and stand there and just be like, hey, I'm just standing here, I'm just trying to warm up, I'm, it's cold outside. Pop a lock. I can't wait till this weekend, oh my gosh. The only day it looks like it's supposed to be nice is on Saturday. It's supposed to snow. Possibly. How you doing? So it might be nice on Saturday. Hopefully. Yep, your horn works. Nice work. Her jacket says, Nazis, fuck off. You know, and she's rebelling, right? But she believes in the globe. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <coughs> Sorry. Like, what is rebellion to people? Seriously. Am I rebelling? Is this an anarchist, terroristic thought like that doesn't belong? Am I terrorist? Is independent thinking and going against the establishment terrorism? He doesn't know. He's got a jacket on that supports America. If they tell him it's terrorism, then he'll say yes. Not allowed to independently think. Hey. Yeah, I'm a man. Go through yellow light. It's awesome. You look cold, honey. <laughs> yeah, if I was. If I was her boyfriend, I'd buy her a jacket. But I'm not, so she can freeze to death. She probably supports global warming, too.
is on Twitch. What's up? You're on Twitch. Uh, no, I'm on Facebook, man. Satellites don't exist. Twitch. Why do I gotta be on? I'm not playing a video game, dude. Why would I be on Twitch? This doesn't even make any sense. Am I playing? I mean, I did say I did post that I was GTA 5. Yeah, your horn works. So the GTA 5 bit is when you are playing that game and your character is idle for a couple minutes. The camera starts to pan on things that are around it, you know, like this car here or something like that. So there's a lot of that get, that goes on because not really a whole lot of interaction. Just a lot of people who read the sign. So just a lot of waiting. Just gotta really be patient. You know, you can't force force interaction. You gotta really make it just allow it to become natural. That's the best part because that's organic. I'm not here to fake script, chill, crap. I'm here to be real. I'm here to wake people up. You are amazing in that white jeep. It's funny, but you la You know, it's true, man. I know. We didn't land on the moon. So so funny. Let's see if this guy, yeah, see, he got in the white car in the middle there, in the van. They don't know what to think. Now they're terrified. They want to, like, turn green, turn green, turn green. Like I said before, I don't know what's more uncomfortable for these people, seeing a homeless person holding a sign asking for money, or me peddling knowledge. How you doing, man? Hey, right on, man. Thanks. And then there you go, you get two dollars. Alright, well that's two dollars to go towards uh, something. I'm not asking for money. I'm not ignorant. I'm not going to turn money down. Hey, how you doing? I'm terrific, thanks. You got coffee or tea? Ah, uh, okay. Alright, I'll roll with that. It's alright. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just say it right on. You know, what do you want from me? That's my thing. I try not to use it too much, but it is what it is. This girl's walking and texting at the same time. About to run into something. Hey, we didn't land on the moon, though. You know that, right? Nope. She doesn't want to engage. She can laugh and smile, but she doesn't want to engage. <clears throat> She's got more important things to do, like go to school. Right? Hey man, not too bad. How about yourself? Great. Uh, Good. What's excited about here? Well, just check it out. What do you interpret out of that? Uh, let's see. Hey, don't believe we're on the moon. <laughs> you win, man. What do you think? You think we landed on the moon? Really? What evidence can you provide me with that we did? Um, I guess you could ask that about anything, really. Like well, we're talking about the thing. moon, though, so okay. you can't do circular logic around me. You just gotta, let's okay. just focus on one thing, so. Sure. What kind of evidence do you, can you give me that we land on the moon? Um, video evidence, photography. Okay. Um, Before you were alive, right? Right. Okay. 
sure? Yep. What else? Um, we have rocks in the moon. And okay. That we're analyzing. Sure. Um, Did you know that some of those rocks were approved to be petrified wood? Do you know that? I haven't heard that now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, give me your side, man. Um, what are your compelling arguments? I'm just curious. Uh, well, if you look at a lot of the photographic evidence that we have from the moon, it's just basic stuff. Shadows intersecting other shadows, going at different angles, providing two or three light sources, possibly. Um, the film that was shown was actually, how do I say, slowed down to make the illusion appear like they're in space. So like they're hopping and bouncing in space. So they actually did some video editing to make it appear like that. Um, one question I'd have to ask is, how did they get the moon lander and there and back with technology that's worse than my phone? Because they had Game Boy technology I back then. Man. Hey, hey, that's cool. You, Appreciate it. Yeah, satellites don't exist though, man. All right, take care. Yeah, you too. See, I mean, you know, I don't know everything. What do you want from me? You know, a lot of people might say, hey, you should have said this, should have done that. But you know what? You go on Facebook, you go on YouTube Live. I'd love to see you. Hey, I need constructive criticism. I want to know how to do better. I just know what I know. And I interact with the people in a manner that is uh, unique to each situation. But he engaged, that's cool, you know? Hopefully he looks into some of that stuff and... Ooh, let's see what time it is here. It's kind of starting to snow. I mean, like, not visibly snow, but uh, enough to for me to see it. It's 2.30. Let's go for like another 10 minutes or so. I don't want to get too anxious and leave an opportunity behind, but... Um, then we'll get something to eat, and then we'll come back and do... Uh, maybe go back to Chipotle or that area like we did last time. I do have like a 10 minute walk ahead of me. Run! She must have to go poop. Alright. That was good. That was good stuff. Good stuff. He believes in the moon, that's the best, man. Could you imagine if everybody didn't believe in the moon landing? Whether the earth is a globe or flat, I didn't believe that the, we went to the moon and I still believed in the globe two years ago. You know? I had that 1972 picture of the blue marble on my computer screen from my screensaver. But I totally was convinced that we didn't land on the moon, but I didn't put two and two together, you know? Alright, so let's get out of this intersection and go to that, to that intersection down there. Hang out for five minutes and then you can see Soylent Green in the back. Background over there, that's where we're gonna, that's where my car is. It's parked behind there, so. I'm going to try to be an obedient citizen, too. I don't want to jaywalk. I don't want to give the establishment a reason to harass me. Oh. 
This might be a place to post up shop too sometime. Just sit there and stand right in front of the picnic table <laughs> and make everybody feel uncomfortable. I mean, if you stand someplace long enough and somebody's incandescent bulb in their head is going off, they might, uh, they might approach me. They might get the courage to say something. That building is. is that a, it's a dorm room, huh? Oof, sorry. Sorry, I don't have train tracks like the camera on the moon landing, so when I walk, the camera kind of bounces around a little bit. Oof. I think we're gonna call it for an hour or so. I'm going to get some sustenance and then uh, well, maybe come back around 4 or so. That sounds good. Because I mean, might as well, you know, if I leave now, miss out on some opportunities. And if I stay too late, I want to avoid traffic. So, might as well leave here. Oh, I got the wind right in my face. Burrigados. Burrigados Asian Bistro. It's now open, so maybe they just open, right? Check it out. Well, since I'm here, I might as well just check it out and then uh, end the feed right now. So. Thanks for watching, and I don't know what time it is, 2.30, so I don't know, look for me maybe around 4 p.m. Central Time or so, and we'll just kind of see how it goes from there. Really appreciate you guys watching, and I am out.